Some people say air fryers are too small to cook an entire melon. As a mother of eight and with five kids still at home, I'm gonna bust that myth right now. My name is Kathy and I'm here to help you actually use your air fryer. And because my channel just reached 100,000 subscribers, Yay! I'm doing a giveaway. Pause. If you're watching this after my giveaway is over, just skip ahead one minute and you'll get right to the recipe and tips and tricks. I absolutely love my air fryer YouTube community and I wouldn't be here without you. So one of you is going to win something from me valued at $200 and you get to choose. Yay! You'll either get what I call the ultimate air fryer bundle, which includes my favorite air fryer and air fryer accessories that I always use when I'm cooking in my air fryer. Or if you're already set in the air fryer department, I've got a $200 Amazon gift card just for you. In addition to that, the winner will get my soon to be available air fryer cookbook that has 50 air fryer recipes. And entering is simple. Watch this video plus the next two videos over the next two weeks. And in each one of these three videos, I will have specific instructions for you to enter this giveaway. You wanna watch them all the way through because somewhere in the middle, I'll tell you what you need to do to enter. Are you ready to learn how to cook an entire meal all at once in your air fryer? Let's go. Today I'm gonna cook up a roast beef, potatoes, onions, and carrots right here in my 5.8 Kasori air fryer. But you can apply these techniques to any protein and vegetable combo that you choose in your air fryer. Today I chose a tri-tip roast. For doing an air fryer roast beef, you'll want to do a nicer cut of roast beef. Look for one with some dark red coloring and some nice marbling throughout. The less expensive chuck roast won't turn out as well in your air fryer because it's a tougher type of meat. In my air fryer, I was able to fit this three pound roast inside with no problem, but I probably would wanna go a little bit smaller if I could. That just gives a little bit more room for your vegetables. And honestly, a two pound roast really can feed up to six people with no problem. The first tip is to temper your meat. Let the meat sit out on your counter for about 30 minutes. It's gonna help it come more to the room temperature and help it cook more evenly. Remove it from the packaging and pat it dry with paper towels and then just let it sit out on the counter. While the meat is tempering, let's make life easier by getting your spices and oil all ready. Today I'm chopping up some fresh rosemary and thyme. Now you don't have to use fresh herbs, you could use dry and just go with any seasoning combination that you love. Let me know what your favorite seasonings are for your roast beef. I love to hear all the different ideas. When the meat is all ready and dry, just check it and see if there's any excess fat that you wanna trim off. And then it's time to massage oil into your meat. Now, I prefer to use avocado oil. You can do whatever you like, and you really do not need much oil here. And the whole point of the oil is to help the spices adhere to the meat, and it's gonna help that exterior get nice and brown. Next, liberally salt your meat. It's gonna feel like a lot, but don't worry, it's not and then I just rub in the rest of my seasonings that I had prepared and oh my word it's already smelling amazing and let the meat rest while you preheat your air fryer then when it's ready place your roast right into the air fryer if you have any smaller ends try and tuck them into the meat that's gonna help them so they don't overcook and then we're gonna air fry this at 400 for just 10 to 12 minutes this is gonna brown the exterior of the roast. And while that's cooking, it's time to prep your sides. Today, I've got almost one and a half pounds of Yukon gold potatoes, and I'm just gonna dice them up into little cubes. You just want them to be fairly uniform in size. And since I'm a lazy cook and I don't wanna dirty up more dishes, I just spread these out right there on my cutting board and spray them with some oil and then toss them with some salt. And yes, I just use my hands. Now for extra flavor, I love adding some onions. This is just a plain old yellow onion and I peeled it and I cut it up into eighths. And then I washed up some baby carrots. Now normally I think that the regular carrots taste better, but baby carrots was all I had. So I just pat those dried right here in my strainer. I'm adding the onions and I'm spraying them both with oils and just mixing them around with my hands. I'm all about easy. Now here we go. The roast is looking beautiful after that initial browning stage. Go ahead and flip the roast and then just drop your potatoes and your onions and carrots right over the top of it and spread it around. Then I just had to hit it one more time with a little bit of oil. Pop that back into the air fryer and now we're gonna take that temperature down a notch to 360 degrees and cook it for 20 minutes. 
And here it is after those first 10 minutes, I wanted to check in on it. And you can see that the meat is running at about 107 degrees. At this point, to get the top a little bit more browned, I pulled the roast out, stirred up the veggies, and then set the roast on top of all of the veggies. Close it up and let it finish up those 10 minutes at 360. Now here we go, it's been that full 20 minutes of the meat and the veggies, and you can see the meat is now running at 135, not quite yet done. Again, lift the meat out, stir up all those veggies, then rotate your meat and set it back on top of the vegetables. And at this point, I decided to just go for five more minutes at 360. Now is the time where I explain to you how to enter the $200 air fryer bundle giveaway. First, I need you to go down to the video description and at the very top, you'll find a link. Click on that and that is where you're gonna go enter your email. This is how I'm gonna reach you if you are the winner. Then come back to the comments on this video and use hashtag airfryersrock and tell me your most favorite thing to make in your air fryer. And if you don't have an air fryer yet, that's okay. Let me know that you don't have an air fryer yet. Let's go back to the roast. Five minutes is up and I check the temperature and holy moly, it's perfect. Now, if you like your roast cooked a little bit more, just cook it in those five minute increments keep checking the temperature to get it to exactly where you want it and then just tent it in foil and we're gonna let it rest for at least 10 minutes now back to the veggies I decided I wanted mine cooked a little bit longer so I stirred them up and I popped them back in at 360 and you could go for another 7 to 10 minutes it just depends on how tender you like your veggies it's so easy to just adjust the time and temperature to get the food cooked the way you want it and like I said you can do this with any protein or veggie combination just calculate the time it's going to take you to cook your meat and then calculate how much time it's going to take you to cook your veggies. Find a somewhat common temperature and then cook them up. It's always easy to add more time to the veggies while the meat rests at the end. With an instant read thermometer and a little planning, you can do this anytime. Now don't forget to watch my next two videos so you're all entered for this giveaway. In the meantime, I've got more air fryer recipes and tips for you. Thank you for watching and I'll see you on the next video.